This is an explanation in depth about the replacing keys on Yamaha digital keyboards, uh, stage pianos. It carries on from instructions that other people have provided how to take the piano apart, so I won't go over that again. And But I will explain about getting the keys out slightly more in depth. It's, they say to push a credit card down between the keys. I, I find there's actually enough room just to use a thin knife. And I'll show you how this works now. That there's an arrow to the right of showing which side you need to push down. And in this case, this is a, a D key. I've marked it with a pencil already, so I know it's one of the bad ones. What happens is um, when they go bad, at the end of the key, there's this little piece of plastic which either breaks off completely or cracks and bends slightly. Now, if it's cracked and bent slightly, you might not see it, but I guarantee you that's the problem with the keyboard if there's a key sticking down. You can see if you look at the key, this one here, it sits, it's obviously down a bit, but it also sits slightly crooked. The top left is closer to the key on the left and the top right is farther away from the key on the right. This is because this piece breaks. And when this piece breaks, the key tilts. And even if it's only just a small crack, the key will still tilt. I'll show you why it hangs after it tilts as soon as I take the key out. Now you push the, the tab down and this will allow the key to be pulled backwards. Sometimes it might just pop backwards, sometimes you have to actually pull it backwards. There's the key out. And I'll show you what happens when you push the tab down. When you push the tab, there's a, I don't know how well you can see it, but there is a piece of plastic here which depresses when you push the tab down. Probably can't actually see it, but it depresses. And when that piece of plastic depresses, it allows this notch here, this notch to be, um, no, it's not a notch actually, this, this uh, piece of plastic that's sticking out is then allowed to be to go backwards and when that travel backwards then that releases that allows this part of the key which hooks in this part here slides onto this little tab here and when that front part is released it allows this to be slid backwards and off the tab and then you can release the key and replacing the key is basically the reverse you you make sure this um, hole the bottom hole here line, lines up with this tab that's sticking up slide it onto that and then you pop it in at the front when the reason that they um, hang when that part of plastic in the front is broken or weakened is because this rubbery thing here which is supposed to guide the keys up and down smoothly when they hang it goes the key goes crooked and when the key goes crooked it makes it a tighter fit on the piece of rubber so it doesn't slide up and down smoothly anymore and it hangs um, so that's the reason it hangs when that little piece of plastic breaks and to replace them I've ordered new keys. The numbers on the original keys are things like 101 and 109, 108, things like that. It doesn't matter, the new keys are all 310. I imagine it's just a newer batch um, or perhaps a different type of plastic. The, what's important is the, that you get the right uh, note. These are all D keys that have gone bad. When you get the new keys, they don't come with this little um, rubber bit. So you have to take that off and put it onto the new key. 
there is two tabs which hold it on. It slides on. You can see from the new key how it slides in from the front. However, it's quite a thin um, piece there that it slides in. And when I tried to push it off, I thought it might break. And I realized the easiest way to get it off is to simply snap off the um, two little tabs here at the left and right and then slide it off. So I'll do that now. Sorry, I, I'm using a phone to video this. I just use some pliers, bigger pliers. Grab it at the left and, and the right and just snap it off. Actually, I've snapped the whole piece off, so that even worked better. So now I can just pull this out, slide it out. from the front and you can see there that little tab that makes the possibility of breaking that tiny piece of plastic much greater. So I'll just pop the new one on. Apologize for this terrible video here but uh, doing a one man job here. So there's the new one on. I'll put some grease on it. I'll do that later. I'll just um, show you how easy it pops in and uh, now it's going to be working just fine. So you line up the, the hole there with the tab on the bottom there. Sort of wiggle it about to, to, lift it, to hold it about this far back and then slide it in there. It's hang, the front is hanging, you just push that down like that. Good luck.